So currently I am a manager uh, within uh, the outsourced accounting practice of a public accounting firm called Markham LLP. You can see my virtual office behind me there. And uh, I predominantly serve in the not-for-profit uh, sector industry. So most of the clients uh, that I work with are not-for-profit organizations, 501c3s or 501c6s, and uh, do a lot of managing of their financial processes, their financial procedures, their financial reporting. One of the best things about my current position and my current job is I don't have uh, a day that is the same. I've been with this, I've been with my firm now probably six and a half years. Um, and I can say in the six and a half years that um, I've worked with the firm, there has not been one day that's been the, <laughs> that's been the exact same. So I would say a typical day um, involves probably a four to five client calls, uh, consultation calls where I'm advising clients on either diversifying their revenue streams, managing their expenses, um, so that um, they can meet uh, certain bottom line goals, um, managing their balance sheet account so they look well, anything you can imagine that's, you know, related to high level accounting um, uh, consulting that not for profits need. So I would say, you know, that's honestly probably about half of my day, most of the time. I would say um, the rest varies. The rest of my days uh, vary from um, actually doing things like this, you know, being able to uh, reach out to um, other folks within the accounting community. I'm involved in a couple of boards, I'm involved in a couple of uh, diversity and equity and inclusion committees. So uh, involved in a lot of firm wide um, initiatives. And one of the things that um, is special, I would say about the accounting profession is that everybody needs an accountant, right? So it doesn't matter if you are Beyonce, uh, it doesn't matter if you're Dr. Anthony Fauci. It doesn't matter if you're IBM. It doesn't matter if you are, you know, the mom and pop, you know, uh, restaurant that serves all of the great food in town, right? Like everybody needs somebody that's managing uh, their finances um, and watching out, you know, for those uh, kinds of things. So for, because of that, the influence and impact that you can have in accounting is very very vast. So like a, a lot of times I often tell when I present to high school students, I tell them that you're actually more likely statistically, you're more likely to meet uh, a celebrity being an accountant than you are to actually become a celebrity. So because, you know, the highest, you know, one of the highest things that celebrities are looking for, accountants, lawyers, doctors, you know, that's what that's uh, what uh, celebrities are looking for. So be that as it may, what I would suggest is um, find whatever um, interests you. So I, um, I'm a musician as well as a CPA. I do a lot of music things. Um, and so um, one of the boards I'm actually uh, on is a not-for-profit um, a religious organization that is predominantly, you know, music related. And so I do a lot of things, you know, including, you know, reviewing the 990 as well as playing, you know, for a lot of the events that that uh, that particular organization has. So I would just encourage any high school student to um, find out what it is that interests you. What do you like to do? Do you like budgeting? Do you like music and entertainment? Do you like um, sports, you know, what, what, what interests you? And I would say whatever organization that you could find that is within your interest, that's within your passions, go for that because you're always going to be able to apply accounting to it, no matter where, where you go. And having the accounting bend or the accounting mindset behind your interest is going to make you that much more impactful. I would say that I would not be as concerned about what other people thought about what I was doing, right? So when I was in high school, I was a classical musician. I played the cello. I had accounting interest, which, you know, a lot of people in my high school, I was a math geek, you know, basically. Um, and um, I spent a lot of my time trying to um, convince people that, you know, um, I wasn't as interested in a lot of the things that I actually really did like to do, i.e. playing cello and learning about accounting, learning about math. 
um, to try to fit into a mold that I thought, you know, um, would honestly be cool or what everybody else would be comfortable with. And so I um, sacrificed, I think, a lot of who I was um, and a lot of the things beyond who I was, a lot of the things that interested me um, because they were atypical of what, you know, a high school student was um, interested in at that particular time. You know, I tried to water down a lot of my interests to kind of fit in with uh, peers. And I would say, you know, that's just that's just not the that's just not the way to go. Um, each and every one of us is a unique, special uh, individual that has a specific impact uh, to make. And so I would say, if you've already connected with a little bit of who that is within yourself, don't let anybody else or anything um, deter you from pursuing, you know, that interest, no matter how popular or unpopular it may be. Yeah.